welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiana here. So today we are going to be recreating the 3435 Ariana Grande makeup look. I'm so excited. I have my hair up how she normally does and I thought it was fitting to pair these bad boys up with the look. These are from Shop Tiana X1 and these are called the 80s Vibes Charm Hoops and I thought it was super cute and they have like a little black heart on the bottom super cute we also have these in pink too but i thought it was fitting to wear the black one and then i also have our pink cherry necklace and it's just so beautiful and dainty um, it has diamonds all around the necklace and then also has a cherry with diamonds on it super cute with this look i'm obsessed with everything i have on i already put on my foundation and my contour did my eyebrows all we have left to do is the eyes which i've already primed them with my p louise base and then we have the blush to do next but i wanted to show you guys on camera how how I do those so the look can come together so without further ado uh, let's get started so for the makeup look that she has it looks like a very nude kind of subtle kind of pink color eyeshadow to it so that's what we're gonna be doing today and then also she has the graphic eyeliner with the white and black super excited to do that okay so I'm gonna use two palettes today so I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill volume 2 and we're gonna be using thick skin and perfectionist and kind of blending those together and then we're gonna first start off with our taupe kind of color um, so we're gonna use the volcano goddess and this is the Becca palette so we're gonna go in with granite it's a very taupe kind of color looks perfect on my skin so we're gonna first start off with that so we're gonna first take my morphe 440 one brush and we're gonna go into granite I'm gonna take my Tiana X1 mirror just so we can get really close and precise with this so I'm just gonna basically just pat it around here and kind of going out in this motion like this alrighty Make sure you are very light with this. We're just going to take it a little bit further from the eyebrow. So we just literally put it right along here, kind of winging it out this way. So then with the same brush, we're going to go in with thick skin. We're just going to dip it in there, tap the excess out. Then in the inner parts of her eye, it kind of looks almost like a blank color. So now we're going to take our Morphe M433 brush. And from the Becca palette, we are going to take Cloud. And then we're just going to just lightly dust it in the front of the eye. So we're going to take that same brush that we use for granite and thick skin and just kind of go over it a little bit. So now that we have the eyeshadows already kind of done, now we're going to go on to the eyeliner. So the eyeliners that I'm going to be using today is the NYX What's the Point? And this is just a super, super thin liner, which I love, especially for this look because the black liner is just very kind of subtle. For the white liner, what we're going to be using is a Sueva Hydra liner, and this is in Space Panda. Alrighty, so now we're just going to start off with the black liner. So with this black liner, make sure to have your mirror handy because you really want to get as close as possible. And you want to make sure that you get as close as possible to your waterline. So nerve-wracking, guys. All right, we're going to shake this up. And we're going to go in. Okay, so it's going to be a very, very small kind of, um, very thin kind of line using this. So what I first do is start by looking forward so when I'm looking forward I am starting to envision where I'm gonna put the line so I want to put the line right here and I will go ahead and just make that little tiny mark right here so I know where I'm starting by I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and I just like to do this 
just so I can see if it's going to be even. Perfect. So now with your liner, you're going to start the problem. Okay, so we're going to just take the liner. You just want to make sure everything is connected and seamless as possible. And then just make sure with this pen, you kind of have to shake it up a little bit just so you could um, get that intense black that you want. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. So make sure you have a mirror for this look because this look really needs a mirror because you really need to be precise. So if you want to get this one, make sure you guys head over to shoptanx1.com so you guys can get this and also a bunch of other stuff. So with my Sueva, um, I already put some rose water in it. You can put setting spray, whatever. My setting spray is rose water, so that's what I put in there. I'm going to go right in. Wish me luck, guys, because this is like the most nerve-wracking. <laughs> Part of this whole look. So I'm gonna take my Morphe 251 brush and I'm gonna go in to that Zueva. So here we go. I'm super scared of this. My camera cut off, so. Okay, so my camera died during <laughs> while I was filming this. So I'm going to just go ahead and do the other side so you guys can see. So, we're going to do the same thing that we were doing. So, we're just going to start from the front. We're going to start from the front and then just work our way down. So, now that we established a line to where it's going to go up, we're just going to kind of define it a little bit more. And then we're just going to go up from there. But not too up. Um, I just did it to where the middle of my pupil is. So now I'm just going to go in a little bit more. What I recommend when doing this look is do the white first and then go over with the black. Um, just because when I did the black first and then I put over the white, the white kind of didn't make my black liner as sharp as it was before I put on the white. So just keep that in mind for when you guys are creating this look. Um, I also recommend, um, I did have to go in with the NYX Matte Liquid Liner um, because this one was just way more intense and the look um, that I wanted. So now what we're going to do is add some blush and some highlighter. So I'm going to go in um, with the June & Co. Bombshell Perfectionist Palette and I'm going to go in with this shade right here and I'm going to just kind of mix them a little bit. Put that on my cheeks such a pretty color before we put on our mascara make sure that you curl your lashes i'm using the tiana x1 lash curler and if you do get some white liner on your eyelashes do not worry because we're going in with mascara now so she will cover that right up and then my bottom lash is what I do last. After that, I'm going to put on my lashes. So for this look, I thought it would be perfect to use CEO from Tiana X1. This is our luxury 3D foam ink collection. And she is in CEO, my favorite. So I'm going in with my Tiana X1 tweezers. Now, if you would like to see a more in-depth video about my lashes and how to apply them, I'm going to go ahead and put that video up in the cards above so you guys can go ahead and watch that. So once you have them on, we are going to go in with our precise lash applicator. And you're just going to go all the way from one side to the other and this will ensure that your lashes stay on all day and don't budge okay so now what we're gonna do is take our mascara and put it in our bottom lash okay and then in the video it looked like her inner corners were 
um, white and also she had a little bit of glitter on um, her eyelids so we're gonna go ahead and do that um, we're gonna go ahead and use volcano goddess palette again um, to one to three brush and go in with cloud one more so what I'm gonna take is um, my highlighter in makeup revolution and this is in raise the bar and we're just gonna take that and just put a little bit on the eyelid just to give it a nice shimmer not too much but just enough because i'm extra i'm just gonna go in a little bit with that same highlighter and just go in the inner corners of my eye then i'm just gonna put it on my brow bone okay so then now for the highlighting part we're gonna use that same highlighter and then we're going in with um our brush in morphe m 501 and then we're just gonna go on the high parts of our face with our lip liner in free spirit so what we're gonna do on top of that we're going to go in with the NYX lingerie push-up and this is in the color push-up and then just go over the lips And this is the final look, guys. I hope you guys loved watching this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you guys haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified whenever I post. Love you guys.